Are you guys doing? What? Oh my goodness, look at these little tweeters tonight. We gonna be painting the finches, right? Here we are. All right, you guys. So I know I'm a couple of minutes early, but I'm standing in my kitchen and I just got born. Hello, Shaman Alaba. Ala Mama. My little skimmadama. All right. So welcome, you guys. How you do? Tonight, we are going to be painting the goldfinches. Mr. Skimma, are you going to paint the goldfinches? <laughs> Hello, Nancy said Flippo. How you doing? Kathy Schumach. How are you, pumpkin? What? Davenport, New York. Okay, Nancy. You got a mission because my son is in New York right now. So, you know, I realize it's a big place. But Jessica Pierce. Vismata Lipta. How you doing, Heather Booking? How you doing in Canada? Jenna Hicks. Rebecca Holfielder, Jen Bird. Well, isn't that the great name for tonight? Jen Bird, Anita Robinson, cuckoo, cuckoo. She ain't paying tonight. What are you talking about, girl? And Dumont, how you doing, tweet, tweet? So welcome, you guys. What? Are we going to be painting our little tweeters tonight? Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> Better than playing with our tweeters. We're going to paint our tweeters. Right? <laughs> so for those of you guys who are tuning in for the first time, my name is Artist Nicole. And I own, hello, Christina Rocca from Louisiana. Ooh, jump line crawfish pie down there, Missy. Um, so for those of you guys who are tuning in for the first time, hello, Diane Layton. How you doing, girl? The way to, is you're scared of the birds. Oh, Anita Robinson, you know better than that. I got you. You try those birds, girl. You grab those birds by the horns. You can do this. <laughs> um, so, for those of you guys who are turning in for the first time, my name is Artist Nicole. I am Cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. We got a new, uh, we got a new pink little hoo-hoo going on this week. And, um... Yeah, my rules are simple, you guys at home. You eat, you drink, you have an absolutely fabulous time. Go look at your birds, give a little tweet, tweet, and that's it. What? I know. But other than that, I have no rules, okay? So what I mean by that is if you guys like goldfinches, all right, you're ready to paint the goldfish hubs, you go for it. All right, I personally have a new bird obsession these days. I've had to replace my bird feeders for like, you know, in two weeks because the squirrel population just keeps growing. But that's all right. <laughs> At least I'm feeding somebody. Um, yeah, and so if you guys want to follow along, paint the birds. Hello, Pamela Montario. Go for it. But if you want to do something totally different, right? If that creative stink bug comes up and it says, Woo, yeah, I want to paint some robins. Or I want to paint an eagle. You go for it. It's your world. I want to paint my Nana hanging off my, my bird feeder. Who cares, right? <laughs> Art is what makes your heart happy. There's no right or wrong, right? Yeah, all right, well, having fun. Okay, you guys, so this is a deal. Okay, I took the liberty, look at this, of pouring your paints already. Hello, Diana Davis from Maine, how you do? Jane Chipstar from Knoxville, Tennessee. Knoxville, Tennessee. How you like that? Did I do good? Huh? Huh? <laughs> um, so, this is the colors we're going to need tonight, okay? You're going to need your favorite background color. Now, I went with a slate blue. You might say, Nicole, like, how do I get a slate blue? All you do is you're going to take a little bit of blue, a little bit of white, and a tiny, tiny bit of black. Mix them together, and watupi, you have a slate blue. However, you can use your favorite light blue if you'd like. I have two piles of white, my clean white and my dirty white. 
All that means is one is for mixing and one is for detail. So you choose which one you want to use. We got some brown, brown cow. Look at that. Got a little yellow, right? Had a little yellow spill. Got my favorite green for those trees. A little bit of black, black, black attack, and orange for the beak and the feet. Aren't you glad you use orange, right? But I did do a second plate, and this is why. In this birdhouse, you guys are going to see that I went with my favorite color for this part. Look at that. See? Oh, c'est so pretty. All right, and my favorite color is uh, like a dark teal. And to make a dark teal, all you have to do is you have to mix equal parts dark blue and your favorite green. And you keep on mixing a little bit until you like them both. However, okay, hello, Nettie Page. How you doing, baby? Well, Miss Nettie, guess what? This lighthouse I'm doing at my new place up in uh, Wiscasset called the Bath Ale House and Nettie Page, I'm doing it at the Pemmacwood Point Campground, right? Hello, Mickey Blanarchy from Michigan. How you do? You make cars over there. <laughs> so what I'm doing on my second paint plate, I'm taking my favorite teal color. Hello, Sherry Oswald. How are you, baby? Brittany Black. Oh, do you know who that is? She is my beautiful sister-in-law that made me this gorgeous mug. Isn't that pretty? I love this. I'm so excited. She's such a little, she's such a little crafter. Hello to my babies too, all my cousins. Hello, Nettie Sanders. So I've taken that beautiful teal. I've taken the teal here and the teal here. And then what I did was I put a little bit of white in it and a little bit of black. Okay, just a tiny dollop. That's for later. But let's get this party started. You ready? I know I am. All right, let's do it. So the first thing that we're going to do is everybody is going to pick up their big boy. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Two buck chalk. We're going to pick up two buck chalk. Our two big feet. <laughs> and we're going to call this guy too far. Get it? Two for Finchin. <laughs> I was waiting for that one. Okay, and what we're going to do with Tufa is you guys are going to load up Tufa with your favorite slate blue, okay, or whatever you're going to use, your light blue, your gorgeous blue. It is okay. You choose your favorite. You're going to add a tiny bit of white. Now, this is going to become your dirty white, okay? So your favorite blue and a little bit of your dirty white right there on your tufa. Tufa finching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Slate blue mix, please. You're going to take your favorite dark blue, Tammy McKerney, and you are going to add white, okay? I would say, you know, probably a generous portion of white. And then you're just going to take a little dollop of black. Just a little, okay, honey? Mix them together until you love what you see, and you will end up with a slate blue. Okay, sweet pea? So here we go. We are going to take this beautiful mix, and you guys are going to paint your entire background just like this. Look at that. Woo! Right? Oh, me birds. Me birds need a place to fly. Quick. Grab your birdkins. <laughs> okay, check that out. Now, the reason why, <coughs> excuse me, we double dip is because it allows that white to just jump in there. Okay, how you doing, Nelda Sanders? All right, that's right, baby. Okay, it allows that blue, that white to jump in there seamlessly so that we don't have to try to add it to wet paint. It's a great technique, double dipping. Although you don't want to do it at the Christmas party. Okay? All right. So here we go. You know, that's where my mama, she would have slapped me silly. Nicole, Lynn, what are you doing? Okay? And you are going to paint this entire background just like this. 
All right, and we're using our dirty white to do this. Okay, dirty white. Ooh, look at that. Oh, baby. Yeah, yeah. Come on, birdie. Come to my tree. Okay, now, whole background, which means, here we go. A little bit of white, a little bit of slate blue, and here we go, babies. Look at that. Whew. Okay, and we are going to paint the whole thing until it is 100% done. Just like this. Okay, now, you may be like, Nicole, I'm not getting that white mix. What am I doing wrong? Right? A lot of people ask that question. So, the only thing you are probably doing wrong in your world is you're using your brush. You're a little aggressive with that brush, okay? Whenever we use a brush on a canvas, you guys want to kiss the canvas gently. All right? You've been with me for a while. You know what I'm saying. Kiss it gently. Just nice, gentle kisses, okay? We don't want it. We don't want to run through that canvas with the brush. No, sir. All right, so there you go. Nice, gentle kisses. And what I've started to do in my classes, my live classes, like in person, I've started to take the brush and just tickle somebody's, the back of their hand so they understand all about pressure and how little to use if you want that paint to go on your canvas. All right, now, when you guys are all done, it should look like your version of this. Isn't that sexy? I know, I'm going to add a little bit more white here. Whoo! Okay, nice gentle touches, because if you try to add some white in on wet paint and you're too aggressive, take that paint right off canvas. We don't want that, no, sir. Okay, and this is what it should look like when you guys are all finished, right? Hello, Glenda Williams. How are you, my love? Ooh, okay, now. A painting is never finished until we do what? We paint our top, our sides, and our bottom. All right? But we never paint our bottom first if we're using an easel because you'll get a sticky bottom. And nobody likes that. And it's summertime. So let me tell you what. <laughs> do I do it harder if on paper? Well, sweetie, that depends on the kind of paper you're using. Okay, if you are using painting paper, which um, when you go to the craft store and they have these, um, oh, we call those damn things. Well, excuse me, I said damn. Um, those uh, uh, notebooks. And they're an artist sketchbook. And it says for acrylics and watercolor. That's a heavy, heavy base painting. Um, you know, honey, I don't often use that. But my guess is, because you have that thick paper, you may have to go a little harder. Would be my guess. I don't know, Sweet Pea. I don't know the answer to that, but I, that would be my guess. Because the, the, the more porous your surface, probably the little bit, because it sucks in the paint a little more. So how's that for an answer? <laughs> you cannot usually see people's makeup. Makeup? What? Well, Glenda, I hope you're not seeing mine. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm all natural. <laughs> no, I'm not. All right. So here we go. We got our top, our sides, and our bottom paint. Well, top and our sides because we don't want to paint the bottom because then you guys are going to get a sticky bottom. And what's going to happen? When you go to take your canvas off, it's going to smack you in the head. Nobody wants that. Makes me laugh. Okay. So... When you guys, yes, multi-type. Okay, sweetie, so my guess is yes, okay? Because what they do when you have a canvas is they treat the, hello, Debbie Moon. How you doing, sweet girl? Yes, sir. Um, when they treat, when I, the, da, 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 da. when you buy a canvas, they treat it with gesso, but that isn't the case when you uh, have multi-purpose paint. So yes, honey, you're probably gonna push harder. All right, hello, Anne Discorto. Discorto, oh, I wish I could say it in a French way because I know you're from Ontario, Canada. Bet you there's a little Frenchy, French way to speak that name. Da-da-da! <laughs> How you do? All right, 
So when you guys are off, hello, Brenda Harrison from Alabama. I have family in Alabama from Tuscaloosa, so I like Alabama. All right, so when you guys are all done and you absolutely love what you see, you're going to grab your hair dryer, okay? Here we go. We're going to dry off this entire canvas. Now, if you guys don't have a hair dryer, what are you going to do? You're going to you're going to flap doodle it. Okay, darling? So flap doodle it. That looks great when they're done, but I take it, clip it. Oh, yeah. I would clip it at the corner. If you have paper, clip it at the corners or, or take some uh, tape and tape it to something. That way the corners won't roll up, pumpkin. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Hello, Lynn Brown. How you doing from Ohio? First timer. I love it. You're with a good girl, Miss Lynn. You take care of you. All right, look at that. Ooh, that went out, that went out. <laughs> oh, la, 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 la. See, you guys, I'm on a carb overload because uh, tomorrow I start my new diet, right? Diet number 374. So, tonight, I had to go on a combo below. You know what that means? Oh, oh, she's the hyper. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Lynn Brown's coming to us for the first time. Welcome, Miss Lynn. We love you. Yes, right. Welcome to the fam, baby. Okay, so there you guys go. Look at that. That little whippersnapper is ready. She ready for something good to go on there. Okay? Awesome. Now, remember, don't care too much about those backgrounds because we're covering most of them up. Okay? <laughs> okay. So... Jane replied to Ian. Also, D D Dakota. Dakota? What's that about? I see you guys having some fun time. Okay. So, the next thing you guys are going to do is you guys are going to grab your itty-bitty titty. Okay? Your smallest detail brush. All right? You're going to take that brush, stick it in your paint wall. Don't grab your itty-bitty titty. Okay? <laughs> Stick it in the hand. <laughs> and, uh, and then, what's this saying? Something about something. Sue Pollock. I've become accustomed to watching the live and then going back and painting it with a replay. Decide if I want to follow along or go off on a tangent. Good girl. And, you know, I'm a little, uh, you know, hyper. So sometimes you need to, you need to uh, watch it through. Okay. So there we go. We got our itty bitty titty. We've got it nice and pointed, and now we're ready for our birdhouse. We are going to carve out uh, our birdhouse, okay? So here we go. First thing that I am going to have you guys do, you little beautiful potty people, is you are going to take this thing, okay, and you're going to come in. All right, and we are going to draw just a straight line, just like this. Look at that. Boom. Center of our page. We're going the center of our page. We are using our itty-bitty titty. We are using black for the outline so you guys all know what's going on. Okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to draw a box. A what? A box. Okay, right about here. Here we go. Just like this. What? You're going to draw in a box. Okay, so if you look at my canvas, you can see that my halfway point is right about here. Actually, that's a little above my halfway point. Okay, and I've left equal parts on both sides. If you guys are technical technical, and I know a lot of you are, you can absolutely grab a ruler to do this, okay? Nothing wrong with that. 
All right, grab a ruler, get your perfect box on there, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna close off that box. Okay, just like this. So now I have a perfect box, right? Oh, don't jump in it, time to get mailing. <laughs> time to get that mailer going. All right, now, <clears throat> what I'm gonna have you guys do next is you're gonna come up here, whoop, okay, to your halfway point, see that? Right to your halfway point, and again, if you are not good at freehanding this, grab a ruler, there is no shame in that. Okay, there we go. And look at that, beautiful. Yeehaw, how you like that? What does that look like? That looks like the house that you guys drew when you were five years old, right? Anybody could do that, great job, okay? And that's how we're gonna start this beautiful bird footage. All right, make sure that you have enough room for two things, okay? I need enough room for my roof, which is gonna go on top of this, and then I need enough room for both of my birds. All right, so that's why we kind of started there. How you like that? Oh yeah, all right. So, next thing I'm gonna have you guys do, okay, you're gonna grab that dirty white on your paint plate. We are gonna grab our tufa. Tufa, is that you? Why yes, yes it is. Grab it out of the bath water, dry it off, okay? Nobody likes to get the dripsies on their tufa, right? Now, the dirty white that you guys already used right here, see this one, my dirty white pile? You are gonna take a tiny, and I do mean tiny, bit of black, because black is naughty, and black loves to travel. So about that much on your tufa. Not too much more. You're going to mix that in with your dirty white. Okay? Mix her in. Give her a good mixing. All right? Now let me look at the original here. Make sure I got the right, the right uh, shade of gray. Okay. Maybe I'm going to add a little bit more. So what you're hoping for is a medium gray. Okay? medium gray and a medium gray is not a charcoal and it's not a light gray so hold on let me show you okay and you want a pretty good amount of this all right on that tufa because this is what we're going to use to paint the background of see that there we go medium gray okay now <clears throat> What I'm gonna have you do with that medium gray, you got your twofer, you're gonna start right at the top of that line, and babochka, look at that, woo! Okay, we're gonna come down, we're gonna make straight lines with this medium gray from top to bottom. We are gonna wax on, wax off, grasshopper. What's all? What's off? What's off? What's off? Okay, top to bottom. There we go. Nothing wrong with a little what's on, what's off. All right, here we go. Just like that. Okay. Yeehaw. And you are going to paint your entire birdhouse. Just like this. Hoya. What's all, what's off? Look at that. Okay. Don't worry if you go over the black a little. That's all right. Okay, nothing wrong with that. You're going to be all right. Because we still have to put that perch on the bottom. Remember that? Wax on, wax off. What's all? Wax off. Oh, we had a little black on there. Little grasshopper, you want black on your brush. You must go over it with the gray. Ho ho. <laughs> okay, 
just like that. Beautiful. All right. Now, as I tell everybody, okay, so sometimes when I'm teaching with my phone, I can't see all your comments. However, when we are all done, you'll all, I always go through all the comments. So write me something cool, okay? Because that makes my heart happy. All right, there we go. Look at that. Oh, we painted the blood house, okay? Just like that. Now. What I'm going to have you guys do, you're going to take your tufa, you're going to put it in the bath water, and I am going to have you grab either, depending on what you have for a medium brush, okay? Now, my medium brush is probably different from yours. Hold on. I got to drink out of my cool mug. All right, so what I'm going to have you guys do is you're gonna take that medium brush right out of the bath water. Now, if you cannot squeeze yours so you've got a nice fine line, use your little brush, okay? All right, and what I have to do is I have to come in and I have to make this birdhouse look like rustic wood. See that? Just like rustic wood. Because this is a deal with finches, from what I understand. Finches will not live in a house where it's too bird house like. It's got to blend into the background. Because you know, I'm a little bird hoe now. Yes, I am. <laughs> and being the bird hoe that I am, even though they don't come to my house, I do a lot of research. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, let's see here. Oh, you're being cute. You've been coming. You've been coming. Love my hair color tip. Well, thank you, honey. You know what I did. <laughs> I went zombie mago. <laughs> Love my mago. Okay, so the first thing you guys are going to do is you are going to take that medium brush, okay? And we're going to use it this way. And remember what I said about a very light touch, like a feather. A little tickling. Okay, so I'm going to come in here. And the way that we uh, get this to look rustic is coin fun. Ah, how you doing, Cinder Ayers? <laughs> coin fun to you too, baby. All right, is we come in very gently and you're gonna add just little, make that noise, okay? It'll come out better. See that? Make that noise. You're gonna take that brush with a very light touch. Okay, can you make that noise? Okay, just like this, look. All right, you're going to add a little bit of white in there. Okay, that's our first color that we add in to antique it. Look. What in the cold? That didn't look right. That's all right, hold on. Okay, do that. All right, and while that's still wet, what you're going to do, okay, so I've some white in there. Looks like a little who did it and ran. Then I'm going to grab my tufa. Okay, make sure it's dry, not wet, so you don't get the dripsies. Yes, Diane Layton, that's white, honey. Kelly Clark, you're amazing. I love watching you paint. It's oh, for the feed store. Hello, Kelly. You're the one that showed me the chicky chickies two weeks ago. Gosh, they were cute. Okay, with a dry brush. Look at that. It's nice and dry. I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna sweep that white, look. Sweep that white so that it doesn't look, okay, like it's too, too chalkerific. Okay, look at that, boom, boom. All right, sweep her down. Boop, 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 Okay, there's my first color. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna take that brush again my medium brush, squeeze her out like this, okay? And now I'm going to go in with some dark brown. All right, here we go. All right, just come on in and look at this. Okay, and what you're doing, never go on the diagonal, okay? Because if you go on the diagonal, 
then it's going to look bizarre. But basically what you're doing is you're hand painting each one of those wood grains in there. Okay, so now I'm going in with some brown. Okay, adding some of that in there. Boom, bada, boom, bada. And I'm just shaking it all about. Doing the hokey pokey and I'm turning myself around because that's what it's all about. All right, look at this. Ooh. Okay, here's my brown. And I'm just sweeping that brown in there like this with a very light touch following the grains of those wood. Look at that. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look. Okay, now I've got my brown in there. And finally, the last color I'm going to bring in is my black, okay? So here we go. Just in certain spots, you're going to bring in just a few of the strokes of black. Now, black is naughty. It's going to travel on you like, you, like nobody's business. So just bring in just a little bit of black, just like this, okay? Boom, bada, boom. Just a little bit like this. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, there's all the colors that I'm going to use. Now, I'm going to take my beautiful tufa out of the bath water. Wipe it off. Okay. It's going to be a little moist. Just a little moist. Not wet. Moist. Okay. Because you don't want any drips. All right. And here we go, watch this. We're just gonna pull it, pull those colors. Nice moist brush, we're gonna pull them up to down, look at this, ooh, yeah. And what this does, okay, is this blends all those colors together in a way that helps them, gives them the appearance of wood grain. See that? Sweepy, sweepy. Helps to go from top to bottom. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Okay. And pull them right down over the bottom. Okay. Look at this. Right down over the bottom of that line. Don't worry about that line. We don't care about that line. Okay. Nobody tells us when to stop. You can even pull them up if you need to, too. Look at this. Boom. Boom. See that? Yeah. I see that, Nicole. There we go. Okay? Can you see how what that does using the skinny side of the brush? Yes, Becky Reed Parker. And, honey, can you please repeat the colors for textured looks of wood? Thank you. You got it, sweet pea. I started off with white, Sally. I started off with white, okay, and I put the white in there. Streaks of white with my medium brush, thin way, like this. Do, 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 all over, okay? And then I took, once I was done with my white, I took a little bit of brown. Do, 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 all over. And then I took a little bit of black little bit of black, less black than white and brown because black is naughty and it likes to take over. Do, 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 do. Okay, took my big old tufa out of my bath water with a moist brush, not wet. So I wiped it off, but it was a little moist. And then I take my tufa like this and I go from top to bottom. See this? Top to bottom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay? And I work it through all those colors. And look what happens. Oh, she looking grainy, isn't she? Yes, baby. Nice and grainy. Okay? Now, now that I've got the grains in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my itty bitty titty. Okay, this guy right here, my little itty bitty titty, my detail brush. All right, white, brown, and black. You got it, Dana Cameron. Good girl. All right, I'm going to take some black 
on my brush, on my itty bitty titty. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back these lines right here, okay? These lines that separate one board from another. See that? One, two, 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 two. Okay? They do not have to be equal at all. So I start with the outside of my birdhouse, okay? This guy right here, and I'm going to bring this back first. All right, the outer edge. See that? Now I'm going to come in. I'm just going to pick a spot. Now this does not have to be a hard, fast, oh my goodness, I got to do it perfect line, okay? It does not. Top to bottom. All right, this is an antique, antique roadhouse, everybody. Antique birdhouse for those finches. So you guys do not have to make it perfect, okay? But you're just going to bring in each one of those little slats. See that? There's number two. Okay, now maybe you want a big board. Maybe you want a skinny board. That's all right. Nothing wrong with that. You pick. It's up to you. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, there's that one. And you're going to do that all the way across until you get to the other side. Okay, so here we go. Add in those boards. Look at that. Ooh, baby. Them goldfinch have got a nice place to live tonight. They're going to live with their little goldfinch friends. Right, it's gonna be the Goldfinch Hotel. <laughs> come on in, Goldfinch Head. Oh, I don't know. Goldfinch Rick might come and bite me in the butt. <laughs> okay, so now you've brought in all of those slats. All right, awesome. We're back in business. Now, what I am gonna have you guys do is take that itty bitty titty and along the bottom you are gonna go you're gonna start over here okay see that right off the edge right in line with your original uh, goldfish um, goldfish goldfish really I don't know right in line with your original goldfinch bottom of your house okay you're gonna go this and you're gonna go out probably about a half inch on both sides look at that yes yeah oh she looks good no honey now uh, this is what I tell people yes miss Ann Dakota oh oh that's what they were trying to tell me how to pronounce your last name Dakota? <laughs> Dakoko? <laughs> All right. No, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Okay? This is a rustic birdhouse if I ever saw one, my love. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys. Now, you're going to grab that medium brush. Okay? Just like this. We got our medium brush. You guys are going to load it up with dark brown look at that okay and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go a brush length so now I'm using it like like um, this okay not this this and I'm gonna push that brush down and I'm gonna go right along that black line on the bottom okay just like that. Look at that. Boom, bada, boom, bada. Okay. There we go. There's one. Okay. And now I'm going to go just a little bit further down. Right here. And I'm going to give it number two. So about two brush widths. Okay. And you can make your birdhouse as straight or as crooked as you want. 
because it's your special world. Can you guys see that? So two brush widths, just like that. Okay, on the bottom. That's gonna be the little perch from a bird friends. And just like you guys did the um, antiquing of the birdhouse, you're gonna do the same to the perch, okay? So I'm gonna grab my medium brush, or you guys can grab your small brush, flatten out the tip just like that, grab a little white, and watch this, just boom bada boom bada, okay? Just bring in a little of the white, and we're not, we're going in the direction of this little perch, which is left to right, not up and down, Okay, go bring a little white in there for the grains of that wood. There we go. Just kind of like a uh, printer. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, there's the white. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the black. Okay, but not as much because black is not it. Okay, so a little bit of black on my tip. All right. And, whoops, got to put some paint on my tip. Okay, okay, just a little bit, just a little bit. Work those in. Look at that. Nothing like a happy little wood grain. Oh, dooga dooga do. Okay, and there we go. There's the black. Look at that. Look at that little whippy snapper. Okay. Now, once you get those wood grains in, you're going to grab your little itty bitty titty and you're going to put an outline on that, uh, what do you call this thing? Perch. Okay, so here we go. Boop. We're going to outline our perch just like this. Close her up. Okay, with a little black outline. All right. How do you like that noise? <laughs> All right. I think I'm funny. Okay. Yes, when I am home alone and I am painting these paintings, yes, I talk to myself and do many weird things. Make many weird noises. But that's what makes art fun. All right, look at that. Yee-haw! Now we got a perch. Okay? And what I'm going to have you guys do next is... Boom, boom, boom. We are going to go over to... Do you remember that second plate I made? Okay, that second plate over here. Look at this guy. Okay, and I have way too much paint on this plate, and that is okay. You know why? Because I'm a paint lady, and I overpour. You at home, be conservative. <laughs> All right, so grab that medium brush. You want to mix three versions of whatever color you choose. Okay? Now, what does that mean, Nicole? Okay. So, I have my regular version. I added white to this one. So now I have a lighter version of that color. Okay? Three versions, white and dark. So you wanna have the um, straight up version. All right? <laughs> oh, honey, I tell you what, I talk to myself all the time. I <laughs> it's like, hey baby, how you doing? <laughs> You want to go on a date later? No, I'm just kidding. I don't do that. Well, no, okay, I don't. <laughs> so now I have a dark version, a light version, and now I added a tiny bit of black to my third pile, and now I have a darker version, okay? And you can do this in like, you know, I mean, watch this. Clean off my brush. See my light version? I mean, you can make as many versions of this thing as you want to. You know what I'm saying? Right? Your world. 
So I'm gonna take this light version right here. Boom, bada, boo, look at that, see that? There's my light version on the corner. Grab even more white, and now I have an even lighter version. Why? Because I feel like it, okay? So there we go. And this is four different versions, four different shades of the same exact color. Look at that, ooh, excited. Maybe a little more white, because that one kind of looks like the other one. Okay. There we go. We just painted the table. Okay, now what I'm going to have you guys do is you are going to clean off your medium brush. All right, do we name him tonight? What am I going to call him? I think I'm going to call him Skippy. Why? Because I like Skippy peanut butter. Tomorrow I'm going on my diet and I won't have any Skippy peanut butter. <laughs> so thank you, Skippy. All right, so now I have a clean version of my Skippy, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to take different versions of that color and create different boards on top. Let me show you what it looks like. See that? Ooh, ah. So different versions of the same color. That's it. So I'm going to come in, okay? Maybe I'll use my lightest version first. All right. Okay. So here we go. Here's my lightest version. I do not have to follow the lines below. So anybody that's thinking they have to do that, don't think that. Okay. So here's my lightest version. And you do kind of want to keep it going in the up and down motion. Okay. There's number one. All right. <clears throat> Then I'm gonna clean off my brush, grab another version. All right, I'm gonna use my darkest version this time. Okay, whoop, whoop, there we go. And you can make that thick, you can make that thin, you can vary these boards any way you want to. Okay, there's my darkest version. But the thing is, like I've noticed, mine's crooked because I'm painting towards you. So you do want to make sure that these lines are straight up and down. Okay? Yeah, look at that. Much better. Okay. Now, wiping off my brush, I'm going to grab this version right here. All right? That's the straight up version of that color. Zoop. Oh, this one's going to be a little thicker. Just because I want it to be. All right, there's that. As I said, just make sure that those lines are straight up and down. And you're gonna come in and paint a board with this version. Whoop. There we go, just like that. Okay, look at that, boom. Now, because I hate things that go in any sort of pattern, I'm gonna grab that light one again, but remember I have four versions of this color. So, I'm gonna grab this one. Boom, I'm gonna make a nice little skinny mini out of this one. Why? Just cause. See that? Ooh, there's my skinny mini. All right. And then, I'm gonna grab version number two which I haven't used yet. Zoop. No. Wow, that doesn't look much different than version number one. Jerry's, hold on a second. Or version number four. So I'll add a little bit more of this color in there. You do want to have four distinctly different colors. Okay, that's important. Because otherwise, you'll do that. <laughs> Nobody likes that. So here we go. I'm going to come in with a darker version of this. Here we go. One that I haven't used yet. Zoop, zoop. There we go. There's that one. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my 
other version, my natural version of this color, just straight up. Okay, and like I said, I hate anything that has any sort of order to it. So this one is not perfectly in the middle because you don't like that. Okay. Boom. Boom, chakalaka. Yesha. Boom. I'll show you when she's done, boys. Don't you worry. Okay. See ya. Look at that. That's kind of fun, isn't it? Woo, Nicole, I like what you got going on there. Yes, sir, that's pretty. Okay, so then I think I'm going to grab my darkest version. All right, and I think I'm going to make this one bigger. Okay, so we'll go in there with that. Now, for you people that love organization and order, okay, you know who you are, and I surround myself with you people every day because you help me live my life better, okay? You feel free to do this top as precise as you like to. You may not like big, fat, small. You might want to measure all of them. That's all right. You go for it. It's your world. It's your world, okay? Nothing wrong with you. Okay, so I'm going to put this dark version here. Boom, boom, boom. All right. And then I think, me thinks, I am going to go with this version again. Right here. Okay. Whoa. Just like that. Now, do not worry if you go over the lines. It is absolutely okay. All right, because we still have to add a roof and we still have to add the bottom of this top half of your birdhouse. All right, so we'll do that. And then on the end, I'll put a little, I'll put the lightest version. Maybe I'll go in there with my little brush. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. She's looking mighty fine. Okay, there we go. See that? And beautiful. Now the top half of my birdhouse is painted in. How you like that? Yes, sir. Okay, and what I'm going to have you guys do is I'm going to have you, once you finish that, take your hair dryer and we're going to dry off that little, uh, whatever that is called, the trellis of our bum. All right, here we go. Dryer off. Look at that hand dryer. Woo-wee! <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, so here's a fun fact for you guys, all right? Because summer is coming up. Two things that you never want to do with your paint, with your acrylic paint, you never want to, number one, especially in the Northeast, okay? You never want to freeze that paint, so you never want to leave it in an environment like a car overnight in the wintertime. And the other thing you never want to do is heat it up to the point where it's melty, melty, okay? <laughs> so don't leave your paint in the sun because what can happen is that paint will separate on you. And you don't want that, all right? Because once it's separated, it's pukaka. It won't spread for, for anything. All right. So there is that. I've got the top half of my birdhouse done. Okay. And what I'm going to do, sometimes that can also happen if you mix two different brands of paint. 
okay? Like say you have some crafting paint and you mix it with some heavy bodied paint, all right? You mix them together. That can also separate your paint, all right? Just another little fun fact for you. Okay, so now that I've got this done and I've got this dry, all right? What I am going to have you guys do next is I'm going to have you grab your medium brush just like this. All right, and you guys are going to flatten her out, squeeze her out, grab some of that dark brown on your brush, okay? And rather than doing two across, what you're going to do is right at the top, right below these beautiful colors where the two of them meet, you are going to bring in a brown line right here that goes straight across and this brown line is going to be your transition line and it's going to be roughly the width of your medium brush all right look at that boom right on top can you see that there you go that's the separator the separator nada <laughs> Because we got a separated Nada. All right. And with this separated Nada, while it's still wet, you're going to grab a little white on the tip. Oh, you're so welcome, Ian. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're, if you're from Canada, I think you're from Canada, honey bunny. You understand the extreme temperatures that, that, uh, the cold and the heat that we get. Okay, so you never want to leave your uh, paint in a hot car. All right, so there's that. Okay, see that? There's my white. I'm going to grab a little black, add that in there. Okay, I'm not going to go as extreme or think too hard about this because, you know, it's just a tiny, a tiny, uh, portion of my painting. It's not like a focal point. Okay, so there we go. There's that. All right. Boom, bada, boo. All right. There's that. Okay. Now, what we are going to do next, we're going to grab our, do you see that? Ooh, flying water. <laughs> All right. You're going to grab your itty bitty titty, just like this. Okay, squeeze it out so you have a nice fine line. And you are going to grab a little bit of black. We are going to outline this line right here very loosely. Okay, see that? Outline it on the bottom. I got to remember where my camera is tonight. Outline it on the bottom just like this. Okay, outline it on the top just like this all right boop doop doop bop doop bop ba i like outlining my paint now what you are going to do next is you're going to go upstairs to where you made those boards and you're going to come in between each board and add a black line just like that Okay, in between each board, right on the in between -y. And I can't, I'm going to have to look at this when I do it. Whoop. There we go. See that? Okay, add a nice fine line in between on each board, just like this. All right, redefine those boards. You show those boards who they are, who made them. Right? You make those boards yours. Make them boards yours. Okay? Boom. And last one. Just like this. Okay? So there we go. Yeehaw! Yippee skippy! We've been going for an hour. It doesn't really seem like it, does it? Alright. There we go. Now, the last thing I'm going to have you do before halftime, okay, is two things. 
All right, we are gonna take our medium brush and we're gonna make our thatched roof. So what you're gonna do, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come in with that little itty bitty titty and you are going to start at the peak of your birdhouse, go down, whoop, go down, whoop, and bring it right down just like that. See how far down I went? Yes, sir. Okay, now, if you guys are having a hard time keeping up with me, all right, do not frustrate yourselves. Don't do it, don't do it. That's not what art's about, okay? Watch through the entire version of this, of this um, Facebook Live, and then when it's all over, okay, you're immediately going to have access to it on my Facebook page, which is why I tell everybody, like Artful Nights Maine on Facebook, because you have immediate access to this live video. Then in a couple of days, what I do is I move the video onto my YouTube channel, which is Artful Nights Main with Silly Artist Nicole. So go on your smart TV, look for your YouTube channel, type in my address, and then you're going to find my YouTube channel where I've got about 36 tutorials now all lined up for you. So you will always have access to these live shows, okay? Don't try to keep up because you're just going to get frustrated, all right? Remember, I've been doing this forever. I paint my sleep. <laughs> and when I can't see your faces, I don't know how you're doing. So take your time, watch through, get entertained, see all the steps, and then come back later. You're always going to have access to it, okay? Especially if you're a first timer. Don't try to keep up. <laughs> okay. Now, what I'm going to do, same thing on the other side. Bring that roof down just like this. Okay, now look. Woo, she got a roof line. Okay. I am going to take my medium brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of dark brown just like that. Okay. And here we go. I'm going to start right here. So I'm going to make a line that goes about a eh, half an inch up. See that? Right on top. So that way I know how far I need to go on this roof. Okay? All right. Now I'm going to come down. Do, 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 do. And all I'm doing is... I am wisping my brush down just like you used to feather your hair back in the 80s. Okay, I'm just taking that brush. I'm going straight down with my brown. Okay. There we go. Get it about as even as possible. So, meh, you know, about as even as possible. See that? Beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to grab a little bit of brown. Now watch this. Chooka, 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 choo. Okay, I'm going to fray it at the end. Because now we're going to put the grass roots in this sucker. All right, so watch this. I'm going to start at the top. And I'm going to go whoop, 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 whoop. Not that much. But just like, just like your eyelashes or whatever, your your bangs in the morning, okay? You're just bringing it out like this. Just a little bit on that side so it looks like a nice, rustic, old, funkadilly roof. Okay? There. Look at that. Perfect, okay? It looks like a, looks like a funky pine cone or something, right? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, now you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Right off this peak, you're going to put about an inch in there. Or half an inch going down on the side. Go down to the end of that. Uh, here we go. 
all the way down to the end, just like this. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay. And now we're going to come in. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All I'm doing is just giving it the whoop swoop. Okay. A little bit of whoop swoop right there. So it matches the other side. So that roof isn't all nice and straight because we don't want that. And neither do I. Neither do I goldfinches. They don't like that kind of roof. They like the birdhouse to look like the tree. Okay. There we go. Giving a few hairs off there. Look at. Yeah, baby. That's my kind of roof. Okay. <laughs> now. <laughs> I'm going to grab a tiny bit of that gray I made in the beginning. Come right in here. Just bring her in. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, add that into the brown just so she's not perfect. Okay, just tapping a little bit of that gray in. Doing the same on the other. That's true. Thank you, Heather Booking. God love you. I don't know what I would do without my customers like you guys that help me with my brain free my brain fog all the time <laughs> i love you okay thatched roof you got it sweet pea all right and then we're going to do the same thing we're just tapping a little gray in this side just to make it look perfectly imperfect okay there you go just tap 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 give it the old tap snap all right, and then the last thing you're going to do on this roof, you're going to grab your itty-bitty titty. You like how I teach? Well, thank you, Elizabeth Seba. Thank you very much, honey. <laughs> okay, and you're going to grab a tiny bit of black on it, okay? Here you go. We got a little bit of black on there. And watch this, okay? You're just going to come in and you're going to use that black to outline each one of these little doodups on the end here. See that? Boom. Yeah, baby. Okay, see that? All right, I'm just using the black to um, highlight, here I'll do it and then I'll show you. Highlight those little doodups that I put on the end of that thatched roof. Okay, there it is up close. Can you see that? Boom, all right. Ooh, she looks spiky. <laughs> Ooh, she's so spiky, okay. I am going to put a black line right down the center of that roof. Okay, a black line right at the top. And then I'm gonna do the same to the other side. All right, bip, 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 bip. Just bring in a little black underneath each one of those little doodups just to accent it a little bit. Act like a shadow on that bad boy. Oh, look at that. Yes, yeah. All right. This is one of my originals, so it comes out of my brain. Right? And there you go. Look at that. Happy days are here again. I know it. Guess what you just did? You just painted yourself your first birdhouse. Pat yourself on the bun. <laughs> Good job, everybody. All right, before we go to halftime, we're going to do one thing. Oh, look at this little guy. He's talking to you. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's my Cindy Lou. <laughs> okay, so before we go to halftime, I'm going to have you do one thing, okay? We are going to carve out our tree, the underneath of our tree, not our um, things. But that needs to be dry before... Uh, before we can add the leaves on, okay? So here we go. Now, you guys just sit back and enjoy the ride because I'm going to teach you the easiest tree in the world. All right, here we go. You're going to take your medium brush, okay? You are using it like this. 
So we're not using it like this, we're using it vertically. All right, so that we're just using that line, that fine line. You're gonna start over here. Look at that. Okay, now if you're a first timer right now, that anxiety just went from zero to 100. Don't think of it as a tree. Think of it as a curved line, okay? Start on one side and just go over the top of your birdhouse. Look, look at that. Boom, you can draw a line. Anybody can, okay? You can do this. All right, grab that medium brush again, all right? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna start right about here, right below, Okay, and I am going to just come up and boom. Okay, now all I just did was, because this is the main vein of your tree. This is the part of your tree that is going to support your entire birdhouse. Okay, so all I did was because this is the part of that branch that's closest to the trunk. All we're going to do is fill this in, okay? Because it's going to be fatter at this end and then skinnier at the other end, the farther, the farther it gets from the trunk. All right, so there we go. Boom. So we got fatter, thinner, 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 thinner. Look at that, main vein of that tree. Woo, okay? <laughs> That's your birdhouse holder, right there. <laughs> okay, and then what I'm gonna have you guys do off that main vein, you're gonna add your tree arms, all right? Your tree arms. So here we go. Here's the first one, okay? Whoop. And the first one is gonna come up just like this. Can you see that? Just like that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go a third of the way up, boom, and thicken it up so that it attaches to that tree. There you go, there's one. Okay, there's one arm. Now, we're going to put a second arm down here. Look at that. Okay, there's my second arm. And all I've got to do is attach that arm to the tree by doing the same thing that I did to this. Add a little triangle. Okay? That's all right. <laughs> you're all right and when you guys do get the replay a lot of times what happens when you try to keep up you pause it or whatever you stop it but when you're do when I'm doing the live you can't rewind okay but as soon as that live is over don't you worry you've got the rewind the pause the fast forward but just don't pause me like this okay I don't like that <laughs> when I'm on the big screen. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> don't be doing that to me. All right, now we're gonna add another arm over here. Okay, and we're just gonna attach that arm to the tree. Look at that. Yeehaw, yippee skippy. Like that, woo baby. All right. You'll never know. I know. Some people send me pictures and I look like this. <laughs> I'm like, shame on you. <laughs> okay. And then, let's see. We'll add, well, let's add another arm. We'll add another arm over here just because we feel like it. There's another one right, right on the end. And then, here we go. Ready? Watch this. Whoa. We'll add another one down there. 
Okay, now that's what it looks like until I attach it to the tree, which is just, look at this, adding a little thing and whoop. And there you go. Yeehaw! Right? Look at that. Oh, she got arms now, baby. Yes, sir. Okay, there's that. Now, now that I got my tree arms, what do I need? Phalanges, finger. I need my fingers. So, you guys are gonna grab your itty bitty titty, okay, your little teeny weeny brush, just like this, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna make your tree interesting, right? All right, here we go, here's my tree arm. Now I'm gonna add the finger. Ooh, look at that. There's one finger. Okay, ooh, here comes another finger. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. See? And those are the fingers on your tree. That's what makes a tree interesting, huh? Tree finger. Okay? Yeehaw. All right, now I'm gonna come over here. Same thing, add a little finger, right? Because I feel like it right there. Yeah. Ooh, look at that tree finger. That was fun, huh? All right, and we're gonna come down here. We'll add some more fingers. Look at that. But what I need you to do, even with the fingers, you gotta make sure that you attach them to the tree. See how this one looks a little funky, okay? It's only because I haven't attached it to the tree yet. Look at that. Now it's part of the tree. Not funky anymore, is it? No, sir. Okay. Woo. Woo. Yes, yeah. Okay. Woo. Right. That's all you gotta do. You gotta give that tree some fingers. Okay. Look at that. Boom. Okay. And that is the extent of your tree. You have learned to do a tree. Not only did you just do a birdhouse, but now you did a tree. Yeah. All right, I'm proud of you. Okay. Now, once you get to this point, all right, you have, huh, do I want to work you a little harder? Hmm. Maybe I will. One more thing. All right, you guys, keep up with me. <laughs> I told you I had those carbs for dinner. <laughs> okay. So, last thing I'm going to have you do on this birdhouse, all right? You're going to grab that medium brush. And if you don't feel comfortable using that medium brush, use your little brush. It'll be all right. What we're going to do is we are going to come in and we are going to carve out the heart for our birdhouse, all right? Because the birds have to get in somehow. All right, and you don't have to do a heart. You can do a circle, you can do a square. It's your special world. You can even do your dog's head if you wanna, okay? <laughs> so how we do this is we find the midpoint. This is the midpoint, whoops, I'm sorry. This is the, oops, oh poop, I just put black up there. Well, that was a mistake, but I'll fix it later. So we find the midpoint of our birdhouse, and we know that because we painted a straight black line, okay? So that's my midpoint, and then I'm just gonna put a dot. Why? Because now I know that that's my midpoint, okay? And that dot is going to be the center of my heart, watch this. So here we go. Whoop. See, look at that elephant ear, just like that. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, whoop. And if it is not perfect, well, let me tell you what. I think you use a scroll saw to do this. So let me tell you, anybody ever try to use a scroll saw? Never perfect. <laughs> I don't know what kind of saw they use. I'm just kidding. All right. So grab your thing and here we go. Paint her in. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, she's all black. Now the 
the birds can get in. Why, thank you, says the goldfinch. Now I don't have to keep smacking my head on the side of the wood. Okay, <laughs> yes, I am on fire. She's sizzling. All right, so there you go. There's the heart. And then right below the heart, you are going to put a little circle because this is that little post that they use to stand on to get inside, okay? Probably use your little brush for that. I don't know why I'm using my big one. I like to torture myself sometimes, I think. Okay, use your little guy, your little tip mouse. Make that little post. There we go. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! I know it. I'm proud of you guys tonight. You're keeping up. All right. Now, once you guys get to this point, you have successfully made it to halftime. Wow. Okay. You can go make your bladder gladder if you would like. Grab another Scooby snack. Grab a glass of wine or whatever it is. It's going to make that little tubby happy. And change your paint water. And I will see you guys in four minutes. Okay? Four minutes. Alrighty. I just got to fix my bubble. Whoop. Okay, babies. She's fixed. Four minutes.
How you do? <laughs> all right, I'm back. Woo, my proof is getting all flat. Um, so a couple announcements, halftime. All right, um, halftime announcements. What do I want to say? Oh, I know. Um, yeah, okay. Couple of things. Okay, so we have, hi from Connecticut is the birdhouse floating. No, darling. We're going to attach it to the tree. Don't you worry, girl. It's not a hovercraft. <laughs> that new Artful Nights maid has just come in. The new aprons. We have blue ones and red ones. So if anybody's interested in purchasing, send me a private message. Okay? The other thing, I love to see your paintings. I love it. So, I felt, I, was, I got so frustrated this week because a bunch of folks sent me paintings. I took them, I put all your names on them, and then I went to post them. And uh, when I posted them, I deleted them from my phone and the post never came through. Ah! So, if you sent me paintings this week and yours was one of the ones that I didn't get posted, it was because my phone did a papoopy. Okay? It wasn't me. So, don't you worry, you guys. I love it. I love to see your artwork. I started doing these free shows during COVID, um, and I've continued to do them. Why? Because I love you and I get to meet people all over the world. Um, so, yes. I also... Uh, I also uh, created a group on my Facebook page. Um, and if you're here tonight and you like the event, um, you will get an invitation to the group because I figured out how to, to work that. So the group is for everybody to come in and share their beautiful creations so that I don't have to be the middleman. You can connect with other people on Facebook. I look at everybody's painting on the group page because, like I said, it brings me joy because I can't see your faces. Okay? So other thing, um, if you guys want to make a donation, you can. Here we go. I'm going to post my donation link. If you're having a fat fabulous time don't be looking at my nose now okay if you're having a fabulous time you can leave me a tip you do not have to okay if you don't have it i started these shows to give people joy during the uh the pandemic so um you know but if you're having a fabulous time you'd like to leave me a tip there's a link okay and then the other thing is guess what I realized on Facebook that I hadn't posted any events beyond this one. So today, what I did, you guys probably haven't even seen them yet, is posted my entire summer schedule of free Facebook Lives. You want to see what we're doing next Sunday? All right, I'll show you. Somebody asked me, and I couldn't remember who. So this is our painting for next Sunday. We are doing the crane in the, the, not the crane, the heron in the sunset. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, baby. <laughs> that is gorgeous. So this is going to be next Sunday at 7 o'clock. We're doing the heron in the sunset. And um, one thing I am I did decide to do this summer because many of you know I've had pneumonia for five weeks and I'm like ah. So um, this summer in Maine, I'm from Maine. We get a really short summer. So what I am going to do this summer is um, I'm going to decrease my Facebook lives to two Sundays a month. Then in September, we'll go every Sunday again. But during the summer, I'm going to do two a month. So all of our entire face free Facebook Live schedule is posted on my Artful Nights main page. All you got to do, hit the events button. And you can see all our free Facebook lives because we are going to have a great summer. Yes, we are. But again, I'm going to cut down to two a month during the warm months. We only get three of them up here. <laughs> so I got to focus on family and fun. All right. So other thing. Uh, what else? I can't remember. I think that's it. All right. Good. You ready? You ready to get this little masterpiece complete? I think you are. You are. You know what to do. Okay, so don't forget, go on my Facebook page. If you haven't liked it, like it so you can
you can get everything. If you're from Maine, I've got a lineup all summer long of all the different locations. We're going to be doing White Houses and Bowies and you name it. Okay? All right. So, what I'm going to have you guys do next on this little whoopersnapper. Okay? I love you too, Louise Edwards. Mwah! Okay? Um, is you're going to make sure that that tree... And that part is dry. Why? Because. Look at that. Spray it right off. Okay. And what I'm going to have you guys do is, excuse me, we are going to give that tree some leaves, right? That's right. Thank you, Kathy. Oh, I love you. This, when it gets cold again for us, which is September, let me tell you, we'll go back to it. But just over the summer, okay? So what we're going to do is everybody's going to grab their medium brush. Now, do I remember when I called the brush? No, never. So <laughs> grab that medium brush. And um, we are going to double dip this brush okay but what we're gonna do for those of you who have never worked with me before you don't know what i'm talking about we're gonna turn this brush into a pecker and what does a pecker do a woodpecker Ooh, dirty ladies a woodpecker okay it pecks just like this okay so what we're gonna do is we are gonna peck in those leaves my friends you're gonna take your brush Grab your favorite green on one side. Grab your favorite yellow on the other. So green, yellow, green, yellow. All right? If you do it fast, it turns into a finger puppet. <laughs> and what I'm going to have you guys do is we are going to come in, just like a woodpecker. What's he doing? Boom. Right? Peckalicious. Ooh, baba. And notice how I am not, I am not, no, Debbie, I don't use stencils because I don't feel like people learn that way. All they learn to do, I mean, yeah, anybody can paint a perfect painting with a stencil, but all they learn to do is, is a, a paint by number. And I want you guys to learn some mad skills so that when you decide you want to paint your first masterpiece, you have the ability to do it. Okay. Load her up again, and look at this. Here we go. Okay? And all I'm doing is I'm pecking in my green. <coughs> all right, there's my first set of green. Look at that. Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Okay. See, there we go. Now you want more yellow in that? You want more of a yellowish hue? All you do is peck in some yellow on top. Look, and these are going to be easy peasy, easy peasy leaves, just like that. Okay, so there's my first bunch. Now I'm going to come in. I'm going to double dip my brush. Okay, now what might help you a little bit is. If you take this brush where after you double dip it and you guys peck, peck, peck right on your plate, get some of that paint off the brush and then rough her up a little. Okay, here we go. Here's a go. Here comes my second. I'm coming in. I'm pecking her. Oh, just doing that general shape. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's those summer leaves. Makes me feel fun. Go into the teardrops of my mind, okay? See that? Now I'm going to grab some yellow. Go right on top. Like that. Woo! I have nothing I like better than a good pecking. I tell you what, great technique for doing leaves. Go right over the top. Boom! Look at that. Oh, nice tree you got there, Missy. Okay, there's that. You can also bring a little bit of those leaves right in front of your birdhouse. That's okay. That's all right. There's number two. That's right, baby. Grab a little uh, dipper dipper. Okay, peck it on your paint plate. Get most of that paint off the brush. Rough her up. 
Here we go. Okay, we'll bring a little up here. Why? Cause. <laughs> Just cause. Cause it feels good. Okay, there's that. Add a little yellow. Okay, add a little bit up here. Okay, make that noise. It'll come out better. Right? All right, wipe off that brush. Grab a little yellow. Yeah, hey, no rule about pecking. You just keep going. You can just make a peckerific, okay? It's your tree. It's your world. The pecker technique works best, as, best, as good as any other. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. All right. And now I'm going to come over here. All right, let's give this guy some happy love, okay? I'm just going to start off with that green. Okay, get a lot of that paint off your brush. I know I've got a big area to cover, so I'll smooth it out, see? And when you take the paint off the brush, look at how, see that? That's too much paint on the brush. That is what it looks like when you take paint off the brush, okay? It looks more authentic, all right? It looks fuzzier, fuzzier from afar, okay? So there you go, get right in there. Peck her out. Make her peckerific. All right. Give it to that tree. And it's good that I can see the actual tree underneath. I want that. I want that. I don't want to work that hard on this tree and then have everybody not be able to see it. Right? Okay. Now that I've got the green in, I'll come in with the yellow. Boom. Highlight her up. Why? Because it can. Okay, peck her in. All right. Peck away like you just don't care. Wave that brush in the air like you just don't care, you guys. You know it. Okay. Ooh. All right, and there you go. Look at that. You gave it to that tree. I'm proud of you. Okay, last two things we're gonna do. We're gonna come down here. We're gonna add a little bit of tree there and a little bit right there, okay? So grab that green on your brush. Grab that green, okay? Peck, 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 get most of it off your brush, all right? And here we go. Oh, that's all right, Janice, you're all right, baby. That's okay. I bet you're out there mowing the lawn or something. <laughs> or hopefully you were out having fun. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping, baby. Okay, we're going to add in a little bit here on this side. Get her all nice and peckery. And then you're going to come in with some yellow. Okay, look at that. Woo! Give that the contrast. Oh, she look pretty. Pretty little tree, right? That's right. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. So you guys see that I'm not thinking, all right? When I'm pecking or when I'm creating nature, it is random. It's like the curls in my hair, all right? The earth comes in, it's my hair dryer, and wah, okay? That's what I want you to do. Let yourself go when you're doing trees, okay? Just let us don't stop thinking. And just come in there and pet. Don't get too peckerific because you don't want, you know, a jungle. But, you know, don't, don't worry about it. Just go in there. All right? Random packs. Look, look, random packs. Oh, look. I'm not thinking. Look at that. I'm just having fun. I'm just poking. Anybody can poke, right? Here we go. Look at that. Okay. There's my green. Now I'm going to come in with my yellow right on top. Right? Talk to it. Say, oh, tree, mon ami. I love your branches. Okay. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah. See? Look at that. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe I want a little more yellow in there. Why? Cause. Okay. Look at that. Beautiful. Suzanne Ross Meacham. How you doing, baby? 
okay? And once you get done, stand back, look at that tree and say, hmm, where do I need some more highlights? Oh, maybe I'll have a little bit more yellow highlights up here, right? Where do I need more green? Oh, add a little bit more green, whatever. A little more yellow, peck her in, it's your world. Okay, you make these trees as crazy or as uncrazy as makes your heart happy. But don't do patterns ever. No, 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 no. <laughs> patterns, nature. No, 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 no. Okay, sometimes the hardest thing I have to teach people is how to train their brain not to think in patterns. Because the world's pretty good at training our brains to think in patterns. We go to work every day, we do the same thing, we travel the same route, we bip, 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 bip. Well, when you create, you gotta let that go and you gotta let yourself get freaky. Okay? Freaky deaky. All right. Can you guys see that? Beautiful. Okay. Now, there was a lady who said, is this tree, is this birdhouse floating? <laughs> <laughs> I should I should leave it like that just so you guys have a funny look at birdhouse. Hold on, let me have a little drink here. And I am drinking water for all you people out there that think I'm drunk. Water, water tonight, water. <laughs> just those cops that did it to me. Okay, so here we go. All right, so the next thing I'm going to have you do is I'm gonna have you guys attach your birdhouse to the tree. And how we do that is we put a little line, okay, see that? The little line going straight up, and then we give it the loop, okay? Then we give it the loop, just like that. See that? That's it. Easy peasy pumpkin pie. Okay, and now our birdhouse is attached to the tree. What? Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, now the, uh, no, blah, blah, blah. not the last thing. We're not there yet. Okay, so what I'm going to have you guys do is take that little itty bitty brush, okay? Your little tip stuff, your little uh, tip mouse, and <laughs> you're gonna come in, all right, and just add a faint, okay, now not, all right, just a faint little highlight in here, okay, just go around the edge and a little something, something there on your, um, on your heart and on your, um, What's that thing called? That little knob they sit on. All right. And if you want, you can take a uh, moist medium brush and then just pull that in so it's not so, so um, in your face. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. All right, you guys. So we have, thank you, Peg. Thank you, Perch. Oh my God, I love you guys. Heather Booking, I figured out how I'm gonna do your, um, Brooking, I figured out how I'm gonna do your Canada Day gnome, all right? So you stay tuned. I got them in my head and um, I'm gonna do it just for folks in Canada and I figured out how I'm gonna do it. So you stay tuned, Heather Brooking, because you're going to have to spread the word up there. You and my friend Georgia Jerkovitz. Okay? <laughs> We're going to create for Canada Day. <laughs> okay, sweetie. Now, the last thing that we have to do in this painting, it's 844, okay? The last thing that we have to do is our gold finches. And I'm going to tell you what, I am going to make these goldfinches so easy that you're going to be like, why didn't it wait so long to paint the birds? I don't know. Okay, so first thing I'm going to have you do is everybody's going to grab their itty bitty titty. Okay, you're going to grab your itty bitty titty. 
And what you're gonna do is you're gonna dip it in yellow, and I also want you to dip it in white. So we've got yellow and white. Why is that? Because if we try to use yellow, straight up yellow to cover, um, excuse me, what can happen is, you're from Toronto, awesome! I love Canada. I'm hoping this summer they open up the borders and let us in. <laughs> My parents have a summer house in Newfoundland, so that would be beautiful. But I don't know. You guys are on, are you still on lockdown? I don't even know what that means. I hope not. Okay, so here we go. Yellow and white, okay? And what you guys are going to do, watch this. Easy peasy pumpkin pie, okay? Right on this side, I am going to have you guys carve out, okay? And it's going to hover above um, above the, um, uh, the house. Okay. So watch this. You're going to come in and you're going to do, look, a teardrop. What, Nicole? What do you talk about a teardrop? Yep. You're going to do a teardrop just like this. Okay. And let me get it done. And I will show you what I am talking about. Okay. Hold on. Roop. Okay. And roop. Look at that. Teardrop. And notice where that teardrop is. Okay. Now it's an upside down teardrop. All right. Notice where it is. It's sitting next to the thatch roof, but it's not on top of the, well, it kind of is on top of the thatch roof. That's all right. We'll make it work. Okay. See that? Just a teardrop. Okay. Everybody get that in there. Woo, baby. That's right. Okay. See, is that. And what you're going to do next on top of that teardrop, you're going to grab a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white. Oh, we feed you, Christine. Um, and you're going to come in and you're going to add a gumdrop on top. Okay, a gumdrop or, um, uh, I don't know, you know, you know what that looks like. <laughs> Can't say it though. <laughs> All right, can you guys see that? So I created that teardrop. Okay, so I don't know what that means on lockdown. I'm going to look it up, but I'm going to take care of you guys this summer. Okay, so it is a... Um, Teardrop with a little gumdrop on top. Can you see that? All right. Awesome. You got it. You got it. All right. Then what I'm going to have you do, grab that medium brush and grab some white. We're going to grab white first because yellow just never covers for me. Okay. So here we go. And I'm going to have you paint that in. Look at that whole thing. Boom, bada, boom. All right. Paint that whole thing in white. Teardrop and all. Teardrop in the top. Okay. Oh, yeah. Teardrop in the top. Look at that. See that? Oh, she's starting to look like a budgie. Deb McLeod, you are a good girl. You don't have a dirty mind at all. Okay, see that? Teardrop and the top. Painting it all in with white. It's got a little yellow hue to it. Okay. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do next. We're going to dry this off. Okay. Teardrop and the top. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to come in with that medium brush and you are going to paint this entire bird yellow. Okay, so the same thing that you just did, but now she's going to get yellow. Okay, 
That's how we bring in that brilliant color. We do an underpainting. All right, hello, Rosa Leon. How you doing? The American Goldfinch, that is right, my love. Okay? So this week in my little bird menagerie, because I am obsessed with the birds, even though I'm not getting that many, I'm obsessed. So I bought a, I have the hardest time saying this word. A, I can't. A thistle, thistle, thistle feeder. A thistle feeder. I bought a thistle feeder so I can get goldfinches. I haven't had anybody on my thistle feeder. And I put the thistle in there. I've got nothing. But I got one. <laughs> and I am happy. Okay? Now we've got that whole bird painted in yellow. Okay? Now what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you take your tip mouse, okay? Your little brush. You're going to grab a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white. And we are going to make, on our paint plate, we're going to mix them together. And hopefully yours isn't going to turn out green like mine just did. Yellow and white. You're going to make a pale yellow or a buttercream color. All right, let me grab some fresh. Otherwise, we're going to have a green goldfinch wing. <laughs> you guys don't want that. I don't want a goldfinch wing that's green. A oh, little polka. All right, where's my polka? Okay, so I've got my... Oh, goodness, if you guys could see what was going on behind the scenes. Okay, a little bit of green, a little bit of white, and a little bit of yellow. All right, here we go. On my paint plate right here. And right there, I'm going to mix them together, make a nice buttercream color, okay? A nice light yellow. Nice light yellow. You want this yellow to be one shade lighter than your goldfinch, okay? See that? Beautiful. One shade lighter, okay? Grab a little more white there. Yeah, that's like a nice buttercream color. All right, there we go. Okay, now what I'm going to have you guys do next, okay, is you're going to come in right where, you're going to start where that little neck that we put on met that. And I'm going to draw it out and you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, hold on. Let me draw it out first. All right, there's this. Whoops. Never a good sign when the paint lady says whoops, right? Okay, there we go. And there. All right, I went a little too high there. Oh, let's try that again. Okay, so what I just did was I carved out the wing and the wing is a little higher than the back of that body. Okay, let me show you that up close. All right, and I'm gonna paint in the entire wing with that light buttercream color. Okay, look at this. Just like this. The wing is a little higher, not much. Okay, see that? And I actually went a little too high because I wasn't looking at it, I was looking at my camera. So there we go. So how I'm gonna correct that is I'm gonna take a little yellow and I'm gonna make his head a little bigger. Hold on. You don't want it so that the wing is off in space, okay? It's just a little bit higher than that head. All right, so there you go. Okay, can you see that? Beautiful. Now, what you're going to do, dry it off. Okay. First thing I'm going to have you do 
is I'm going to have you work on the tail of your goldfinch. That's the basic outline of the goldfinch, okay? Wings a little high, but we're going to work with it. All right? So you're going to take that little brush, okay? Tiny little brush. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab a little bit of black. Okay, tiny little bit of black on that brush. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come under the wing. Okay, can everybody see me? I'm under the wing and I'm going woo, woo. And I'm brushing in that black, just like this. Okay, into that tail. All right, underneath the wing, into that tail. Now my tail is going off the page, all right? But there you go, there's the black. Now you're gonna take a little bit of white, okay? A little bit of white on that little brush. And while that black is still wet, you guys are gonna work, boom! A little bit of white so that there's a gray in the middle okay so here we go and we're gonna bring that in I'm gonna work that black into there so that there's a gray in the middle I wish this was not going off the page so that I could show you guys exactly what I'm talking about but we'll I'll have you do it on the other one okay so it goes black, gray, and then white, okay? And the white comes up right here, right underneath it all, okay? Here we go, ready? There. All right. I said, I wish this wasn't going off the page so I could show you exactly what this looks like. But, you know what? I have an original to show you. So, you hold on one sec. Hold on to one second so that you don't have an ugly goldfinch. Because we don't want that. All right. Okay. Now. Here is the original goldfinch, okay? If you notice, we've got the black coming in, then you've got a little striations of gray, and then you have the white, okay? See that? Look at that little tweety teety. okay? So that's the tail that we just did, all right? So we've got the black, the gray, and then the white on the bottom, okay? White on the bottom. There we go, boom. All right, so that's his tail. Now, if you feel like your white went a little too high on the tail, that's all right. All you gotta do is take some yellow and bring it back in. Look at that, it's that easy. Okay, that's the beauty of painting. You can always go over it, right everybody? So it doesn't have to be perfect the first time, right? All right, there we go, okay? Now, the next thing we're gonna do is, here, let me fix this just a little bit. Because the one thing I want you guys to notice too is how, look at how, can you see the, the black comes up under that wing and it follows a pattern, okay? It's almost like a V off the buttocks of that goldfinch, okay? See that? A V right off his buttocks, okay? So there we go. Make sure you put in the V. V for victory. V for thistle. Just kidding. V is not for thistle. <laughs> not even a little bit is a V for thistle. All right. Now, next thing I'm going to have you guys do, okay? 
we're gonna come in and we're gonna take a little bit of black on our thing. Oh, my little thing isn't cooperating. A little bit of black on our itty bitty, okay? And what you guys are gonna do is you're going to carve out a line on top of that wing that looks like this. Okay, can you see that? Just like that. And the whole half of that wing, you're gonna bring it down and you're gonna paint in the whole half of that wing black. Okay? Just like that. That's all gonna be black. So you're gonna come in, choo, 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 and paint in the whole half of this wing black. All right, there we go. Because the most important thing on this painting, although the birdhouse is like unbelievably cute, is our little goldfinches, right? All right, goldfinches, come to my feeders, okay? So there we go. Whole half of that wing is black, okay? And now we're going to focus on his head. My head looks a little stumpy because I made my wing too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my head a little bit taller. Okay, and bring in And I'll show you what this looks like in case you followed my lead and made a stumpy head. Okay. Because I can't have you with a stumpy headed goldfish. Goldfinch. I don't know where the fish is coming in. Oh, I know where the fish is coming in. I had a class this week and we were painting gnomes, and there was an eight-year-old painting my class, which is pretty rare, because it's a nighttime class, okay? See that? See how I extended my head up? Almost like a parrot, so that it would match the size of that wing. Now I'm gonna dry it off. And I told this little kid, I don't know why, where it came from. I never know where most of the stuff comes from that I say. But anyways, I said, we were painting gnomes. And I said, geez, make sure you don't have a skinny gnome. Because if you have a skinny gnome, they'll come in and eat your goldfish at night. And the little kid was like, woo. It's <laughs> like, Nan, I paint a fat gnome. <laughs> Mimo. <laughs> don't want it to eat my goldfish. <laughs> Okay, there we go. There's the goldfinch head in relation to that wing. All right, now what we are going to do is we're going to work on the head. Okay, so what we're going to do on this head, I do not like that small brush. We are going to grab a little bit of black on our small brush. And you guys are going to give this guy a little toupee, sort of. Okay, let me show you. I'll do it and then I'll show you. Meow, 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 meow. Okay? So, it's just like a little cap that comes on top of this head. Just like that. See that? Just like that little cap that comes on his head. Okay? Just like a little toupee. There we go. Okay. Now, right below that cap is his eye. So what I'm gonna have you do is turn your brush around, okay? And you are gonna use the end part of this brush. 
not the brush part, but the end of the brush. You are gonna dip it into your black. All right, just like that. And right below this cap, almost in the cap, you're gonna put a black dot for that goldfinch eye. Okay, not gonna look like much right now, but trust me, it will, right there. See that? A black dot for his eye. Beautiful. And then what you're gonna do is you are gonna go back into the wing, okay? Now that we've got that black wing, we've gotta come in and we've gotta decorate it properly, all right? So first thing we're gonna do on that wing is we're gonna take a little bit of white and you guys are going to very carefully, you're going to outline this wing with white, just like this, all right? Just like that. And in the bottom, you're gonna take a tiny bit of white on this brush and you're going to come in and make these little striations in the bottom of his wing. Okay? Just like that. Little striations in the bottom of his wing at the tip, okay? And then you're going to come in and you're gonna take your brush and with a little bit more pressure, you're gonna start right here and you're gonna go zoop, 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 and zoop, okay? All right, just like this. So you're basically taking that brush and you're making lines that go down like that right above those striations, okay? So all you have to do to do that is you just add a little more pressure to that brush to make thicker lines, okay? And droop. All right, now along the edge line, I'm gonna do it and then I'm gonna show you, okay? Along the edge line, right here, this is the edge line, okay? The edge line of black. Right below that, you're gonna go droop, droop, droop. And all I'm doing is I'm just pushing the head of my brush to follow that edge line, okay? Pushing the tip of my brush to follow that edge line. All right, just like that. So all the way across the edge line and that kind of accentuates those feathers on top. See that? Beautiful, that's right. Okay, we hit the 908 mark. So what I'm gonna have you guys do next you're gonna clean off that brush, clean off that little brush, and then you're gonna smooth it out so you get a really fine line, okay? I'm gonna have you take your hair dryer, dry off that eye so I can show you what the eyeball is supposed to look like, okay? But if it's too dark, it's not gonna work. Too wet, I mean. We've got that black line. We got our itty bitty brush, tiny little bit on the on the tip, okay? See that little circle we made? What I'm gonna have you do very carefully, 
My eyeballs are starting to go double because I painted three paintings today. Is I'm going to have you put a nice faint white line around the outer edge of that black eye. And then you're going to add a tiny little doo doop. Tiny little doo doop. Okay, let me fix it so I can show you guys because I want it to be perfect. So you don't have a funky goldfinch eye. Okay, see that? So a tiny little white around that edge and then a little white dot for the eye. All right. Now, the last thing, last couple things on this goldfish. Your gold, goldfish, goldfinch. You're gonna use your little tiny brush, your little teetsy fly. Grab that orange, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in and you're going to make a tiny little triangle right here that goes in on his face, okay? See that tiny little triangle that goes in? And this is the most important thing about this guy and any bird. Okay, you gotta get the beak right. You get the beak too big, it doesn't look right. Okay, so let's do this beak. And we are going to go, zoop, and zoop. Okay, look at that. Just like that. We go in just a little bit, and then you guys make that triangle, just like that. Okay, and you're gonna paint it in. All right, just like that. Okay, now, what we're gonna do next? Okay, I'm gonna take that brush, grab a tiny little bit of black on my brush, and here it comes, right down the middle, a faint black line. Okay, so we've got a faint black line right down the middle of that beak. And I'm going to grab a little bit of white whoop, right up in the nose. That's too much white. A little bit less. Here we go. Beautiful, okay? All together now. There is our American goldfinch. All right, now last thing that we're gonna do on this goldfinch is we gotta add some feet, okay? So we gotta add some feet. So for this guy, we're gonna take that foot right underneath that belly, and here we go. One and one, whoops, ooh, two and three. Okay, hold on. Too much paint on my brush. Okay, so we got one, two, three. And, and then the other leg that goes on the other side so you can barely see it. All right, there we go. That's an exaggerated uh, gold French leg. It needs to be thinner than that. So I'm gonna take a little brown, clean it up. Okay, clean it up. There we go. And add that little chicken back. Okay. <laughs> and 
There we go. Okay, there's his little goldfinch foot. Okay, and that, my folks, is how you create a goldfinch, just like that. Yeehaw! Look at this guy. Okay, he looks a little evil, so I'm going to take a little bit of that crown off his head. And there. And all I'm doing is tapping in a little yellow. All right, there we go. Look at that. There is your goldfinch. Isn't he cute? Oh my gosh, I want to reach out and touch him. Okay, so there you go. Or at least I want him to eat my thistle. <laughs> So there's number one. There's your first goldfinch. Now, on your second goldfinch, we are going to do the same exact process. I made this painting so that you guys could learn from one to do number two. Look, they're facing the same direction because apparently there's a nice thistle th feeder on this side of the painting that they're all excited about. Okay? So, you repeat the process for this guy, except for he's sitting on the edge of that feeder, and his little toes are like that, okay? There is goldfinch number two. I'm not going to walk you through it, because we walked you through it on goldfinch number one. All right? So, guess what, you guys? Once you get that complete... Your masterpiece is done. You may just want one goldfinch. Maybe you want two, okay? All right, you guys. I can't wait to see you next Sunday where we do the beautiful sunset heron. Ooh, look at that. And don't forget to send your paintings if you would like to purchase an artful knight's mane with my little mug on it, apron, all you got to do, they go down to my, almost to my ankles because, well, you know, I look a lot taller on TV than I am in real world. <laughs> all right, you guys, I love you, and I will see you next week. This will be on my Facebook right after. Have a 